Okay, so uh, welcome to the second part of the video, uh, tying with me, uh, Jonas Andersson. So in this video we're gonna finish the wing and uh, do the sides, adding the topping on this lovely black doctor. Uh, it's a nice fishing fly, one of my favorites uh, to bonnets. Um, yeah, let's start. So. First we need to have uh, something in the middle, something to uh, yeah, take care of uh, the wings, so to say. Uh, I prepared uh, this feather, it's a good and decent tippet that uh, needs to go uh, yeah, in between and then you have the wing on top of it. If you hear any strange noises, it's just my stomach. Uh, somehow, always when I'm tying a fly, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. And there you are. The wings smack on, as it should be. Uh, so let me wax the thread just a little bit, not too much. A few wraps. I'm gonna add some varnish and uh, let it kind of dry. Uh, just to make sure it stays in the position it is. There we are. Okay, so I add some varnish, then we have the next step when we actually attach the wing. Okay, so uh, uh, it's time to continue with the wing. Uh, as you see, um, we have the middle wing attached, so uh, we just need to uh, add these uh, feathers to, to the wing. So, let me see. Trying to match them equal size, uh, so I just leave a little bit of gap so I can attach it on top. As always, so I think that's sufficient. Motivation. And there we are. Wings attached. Looks good on both sides. I'm just gonna pull this one up a little bit. the thread and a little bit varnish and then continue on the sides yeah it looks good Okay, so now it's time for the sides. So 
going to add the sides to. Um, oh, I'm trying to show you in both cameras. There we are. So, starting with my side. Good. Let's reset the feathers. the thread then it's time for uh, the marabou oh no <laughs> marabou <laughs> my god I need to connect my brain uh, the mallard Set that one, it's a bit too, it's going up. Adjustments to the fenders. 
they just hold rubbing in the line. As you can see. And then they are in place. So you're just gonna back the thread as always and add a little bit of varnish. And then it'll be our the final step. Uh, so topping and bullhead. There we are. Okay, so now it's time to get the leftovers. Uh, so let me start to do that. Just gently <coughs> cutting all the feathers in the front away. So like these scissors. There's another doctor that goes into my own uh, uh, bullet to fish with next season. So I'm gonna tie all the black doctors, uh, uh, all the doctors I can find. <clears throat> okay, so all the leftovers are gone, so time to add uh, the topping. Let's see if I can find something that will work. Very long. And this one will actually do the job. There we are. <coughs> My dog is protecting the place, of course. Might have a delivery of flying material coming.
and there we are topping in place so I'm just going to uh, add a few wraps a little bit of varnish and then of course uh, we're gonna do finish the fly up with the bull head um, so let's cut off the leftovers from the topping it's gonna cut off a little bit because I'm gonna use it to as a foundation for the head so adding some varnish on the thread oh sorry uh, wax I'm just gonna tie it in properly and back there I'm gonna start the wool head taking some red wool Very, very thin. A few tight ramps. And there we are. We have the bull head. Little bit light. So, waxing the thread again. Now, following price standard pattern in this case, so there is no horns or anything on the sides. And there we are. Adding a little bit of varnish. That's basically a black doctor salmon fly. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm gonna make sure to add other videos in this corner. And here is gonna be a subscribe channel, so I don't mind if you subscribe to my videos. Hit the bell, do a thumbs up if you like it. If you want me to tie anything specific, just add it in the comments. And uh, so, see you in the next video. Thank you.